guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today to announce my very first swap. So I am going to be hosting a pillbox swap. These are pillboxes from Dollar Tree. I'm going to insert a video here to show you exactly the box that you need to get. Um, it is a seven day pill container um, that's going to be filled with goodies. So it is send to get to and as you can see, I'm going to show you the exact SKU and the, the number on the box. Um, you do need to have this exact box for the swap. I have two examples here that I can show you. So let's take off the belly band. We'll talk about that in a second. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to cut little um, rectangles for the outside and the inside of the pill box. These measure one inch across by one and a half inch high. If you cut that, they should fit perfectly on the tops. Inside, oops, this one is coming off. So inside, you're gonna see here, this little lip right here. If you don't cut it exactly, um, you're gonna get a little bit of an overhang. So you may want to do an inch by an inch of, and a half and then just do a little tiny trim across it so it fits better. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna sit right inside some grooves that are inside there. You're gonna wanna push it down to make sure that it stays. And what this does is it covers that Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you know, all of the days of the week across it, covers that up and makes it look nice and cohesive. So I did that on both of my boxes here. Um, this is the Simple Stories uh, boho Christmas collection. This is a Coco Daisy collection that I incorporated just a couple different pieces of paper in because I didn't have enough paper to do all of the squares. I had more embellishes, embellishments than paper. So anyway, but it all coordinates. So just make sure your collection is a new, um, a newer collection, something that's current and, um, these you have to keep flat. So you're gonna keep all of these flat. You're not gonna embellish the tops of the containers. What you're gonna do is create a belly band and this is what you're gonna embellish. So I have just two pieces of paper. I have a solid and then I have a pattern paper here from the collection. I did just sew around the edge of this, folded it around and then I just used some chipboard, some stickers and some ephemera from the collection a little brad over here, and then I just built it up on the top. So this can be dimensional, this cannot be. And then it slides right inside there, and that helps keep the um, containers closed during transport as well. So this one you can see I took, this paper is actually from the Cookies, um, Cookies for Kringle collection, I think it is. And um, it matched the Coco Daisy collection pretty well. So I actually used that. And then this plaid, I think, is from that collection too. So um, I did not have any of the Coco Daisy print besides some very small pieces of this and this stripe. This is an old Project Life card that I pulled out because it coordinated. But I, have, um, I had some cute puffy stickers and I have a lot of this um little ruffle that's from the collection in the back and I had these cute little embellishments so I wanted to use those up so I just took some coordinating um paper and worked with it and then I had this embellishment too that went with it so I think it's super cute so that slides right on there I'm going to show you how I created my belly band it is so, very simple um I don't do measurements very well. Sorry, I had to grab a piece of paper. So what I actually did, this is just a scrap piece of paper that I have. I took it and let's see. I suppose it doesn't matter where you start. So um, I'm just going to wrap it around the box like this. So you're gonna wrap it like that. So it goes all the way around. You're gonna get your indents there. And all I did was fold it on those lines. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it's straight. Sorry, my camera is shaky. I have a table here that is a temporary table and it's not very solid, so. 
All right, so I'm just kind of folding on all of those lines. And then you're gonna see it's gonna match up over here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and cut on this line here. And then you can put your glue here. Um, I like to use hot glue just because it um, holds it more secure. And then you can just fold that up on top of that, like that. So you've got your little um, rectangle there. And it'll go ahead and slide right on there. So that is as simple as that. You'll obviously want to make it longer. Um, all right, so that is the sleeve or the belly band. That is the um, cover covers. And um, now let's talk about what we're gonna put inside. So you want them full. Um, whatever you decide to put inside, fill up the whole container. You don't wanna send something that is only filled halfway. Um, and you don't want to send anything that's super breakable or that's going to be, um, come loose inside of it. So let me show you what I mean, um, when I open these up. So I'll go ahead and open all of these up and then you can see how I did the inside of each one. They look like that. There we go. So you can see that they're all decorated inside. And I like to coordinate my colors. So this Boho Chic collection has red screens um, and pinks in it. Uh, there's a couple shades of green. And then there's also like this kind of brownish gingerbread-y type color. So um, I kind of went with those colors. So this first section here is some pom-poms, some tiny little buttons, and then some like snowflake cabochons, little wood pieces. So it's a mix that actually I got off Timu and it came all mixed together like this. So you've got all of the different pieces mixed together. So that was a really cute way to send it. So I thought I would share that. So that is in there and you can see that I filled it up. Um, these are some jemmies that I got at Michael's in all different Christmas colors. So I've got some stars. I've got these jemmies in different colors. There's a dark green, a white, um, I think there sh is a lighter shade of green and a red in here. So you can see that those colors all coordinate with the collection. This is some cabochons and they are Christmas cookies and little gingerbread. I'm sorry, that is super shaky. So they look like this. So I have a whole variety of those in there that I'm sharing. This section has these little pre-made bows that I got from Timu. They look like that. I think they're so cute. So this is what I meant by something um, that you don't want to put something that's breakable and you don't want something that's going to come loose. So I decided to share a sequin mix. Um, I didn't want to put like those little glass jars from Dollar Tree in here. If you had a plastic jar, that would be fine, but you don't want to put your loose sequins in here either. So I actually put my little clay sequin mix inside this tea bag. And I got these tea bags off of Timu. Um, they look like this. Um, you know, they're for packing your loose tea in. Um, but the sequin mix looks like this. It's a little clay sequin mix. And I filled that up so I can tuck the top down underneath it and tuck it in there. And it's going to be nice and secure for shipping. Um, in this section, I've got these uh, collection of bells. I've got glittered and solid and gold and in silver. So they look like that. So I'm just gifting a variety of those. And then over here, I've got charms and little clay beads. So it's just a huge assortment of different color charms, um, all in coordinating colors and clay beads. So, you know, just a sample of some of the things that are included in there. So that is my first one. All right, so for the second one, 
going to be able to see all the coordinating tops here as well. So they look like that. So they're all coordinating. So here I decided to go with some buttons. Um, I was able to add the turquoise color, pinks, greens, and reds in there for the Coco Daisy collection. Again, I added those jammies. I've got some cabochons here as well. Some charms. This is actually all reindeers. So I have um, the, the larger reindeer charms, these reindeer charms, and then I have some little reindeer um like tiny little cabochons, they're so cute. I have those in there as well. I have got another sequin mix in here and this one is a little bit different. It is this mix. So it's more like of a gingerbread mix. It's got some browns, greens, and reds in it as well as like some peachy colors here that uh, match with the Coco Daisy collection. Um, here I'm gifting some little glittered reindeer felt pieces. And then lastly, over here, I've just got some little jingle bells and baubles. So I've got some colored jingle bells, some colored pearls, and then these little filled um, beads as well. So that's what that one looks like. All right, some other ideas. I just wrote down some ideas for things you could add in there. Some bows, cabochons, charms wire wrapped beads, gems, sequin mixes, not loose, bells, brads, flowers, ribbons, mini ornaments. Those will all fit inside those. Um, and then just to reiterate, it is a make to receive to a Christmas or a winter theme. It's the Dollar Tree Pillbox Organizer, the seven day one. Um, it's due December 22nd. So um, I want to mail them out the week between Christmas and New Year's. So if you can get them to me by December 22nd, um, decorate the lids, create a belly band and add dimensional elements to the belly band and fill each box with coordinating goodies. So that is everything. I will list it down below. I'll also list my PO box down below to send it to me. Um, after I receive them, I'll do a video on them. Um, if I can get them open and show them, I will open them and um, showcase them on my YouTube channel. So list your social media as well so I can announce that with the um, with the video. And then when I receive them, I'll go ahead and send them out so you may get them earlier than the week between Christmas and New Year's, depending on how many I receive at each time. So when I get them, I'll film them and send them out to you. So you will get them earlier if you send them earlier. So anyway, that is it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I cannot wait to see what you guys create and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.